how's it going everyone so we got a seeding project a new lawn right from seed haven't done anything like this in a long time but we did a major landscaping project here at my son Danny's house and we're gonna seed we'll see how we do we were gonna sod but we decided to seed so here it is we put a sprinkler system in so we shouldn't have any problem with water and we graded it and the reason for the project is he had a new driveway installed and the original driveway was over here and then there was a, a stone driveway that ran across the front of the yard diagonally over to uh, where you see the roller over there to get back to the garage so all that was removed and then a new driveway on this side of the property was put in and we had a lot of dirt to move around we got that done uh, check out my video on the sprinkler system that is done and we're ready to throw some seed down and some fertilizer and rope this area off and hopefully in two weeks we start to see some green here so what we're using is uh, three different uh, plants grass plants we got a perennial ryegrass Kentucky bluegrass and tall fescue we're using Jonathan Green's Black Beauty and then we're going to throw some fertilizer down for seeding the turf builder triple action now we are dealing with uh, 2400 square feet this covers up to 10,000 square feet so I think what we're going to do is at least throw half or three quarter of the bag down and then uh, we'll see what kind of germination we get in two weeks and then we'll throw the rest of it down since since we have it we also have a second bag so if it doesn't uh, germinate we'll throw down even more in two weeks so we're gonna get started seeding here and we're hoping for a lush green lawn in about two to three weeks where the flags are or where the sprinkler heads are there are six zones out here there's two rotary heads on each zone and we did a video on the um, sprinkler system so you can check that out if you want so here we go lay down some seed All right, there we are, all the seeds down. We put 25 pounds of Black Beauty, it's Kentucky Bluegrass, Perennial Ryegrass, and Tall Fescue. So I'm hoping to see germination in five to seven days. I think Danny's happy with the progress. You happy with the progress, Dan? Happy. He's happy, customer's happy, that's what matters. It was a lot of work, but here we are, we got here. So, I'm in the garage. My messy garage. I need to clean this place up. Anyway, it's been three weeks since we put seed down on the uh, on my son's lawn where we put the sprinklers in, and the seed's growing in really good. But um, before I show you that, I'm only going to show it real quickly at the end of the video. I got a little bit of a rant 
and a funny story actually to go along with it so I come home from work I think it was a Thursday night and we're gonna get rain for the weekend and uh, I see my next-door neighbor he's out there with his uh, electric detacher and I, it's not working he's having problems with it so I went over and tried to help him couldn't get it to uh, to work so me having the swordman, uh, I said, to him, well, I'll lend you my, my swordman and I'll switch out the cartridge. I'll put the Thatcher uh, or, or the Scarifier cartridge on it and then you could use it. Um, it's not like me to do that, especially with uh, an expensive machine like, uh, like the swordman. But I felt sorry for him. So as I am uh, changing out the cartridge, uh, uh, we're talking and he tells me he's going to oversee his lawn. Now this is uh, someone who for five years has wanted to have a nice lawn and for the most part the lawn is nice but it may be th three four months out of the year it's not because he just doesn't take care of it the way you should. Um, springtime he comes out beating his chest oh, my lawn looks great and, uh, and I bust his bubble and tell him yeah look around it's spring everybody's lawn looks good but what's it gonna look like in July August and even September around here so anyway we get talking he's gonna put seed down and he tells now he has tall fescue he tells me that uh, he put his seed in a paint strainer sock and has been soaking it in water uh, for a few days and I thought to myself well, he watches too much YouTube and he's watching these guys on YouTube that one are stupid and two are usually full of shit so I laughed at him and that's exactly what I said to him I said uh, you watch way too much YouTube you're making it more complicated than what it needs to be throw that grass seed down well i already started it he says so i laughed at him broke his stones a little bit about pouring a, a bag of a hundred dollar gas seed into a sock and dunking it in water for the past couple days to get what he claims is and so do some youtube people in the lawn community that it's pre-germination and your grass will germinate four to five days earlier than normal I'm sorry, but I am not putting a hundred dollar bag of grass seed in water to pre-germinate it to get growth four or five days early? Really? I get it. We live in a world today where everyone wants instant gratification. No one wants to wait for anything. But patience is really something you should have, particularly when it comes to growing grass. So anyway, I get the mower finished for him, all set up. He walk, goes over with the swordman, I show him how to do it, and I'm just laughing to myself, like, really? Who in the world does this? So I go on YouTube, and there's dozens of creators out there in the lawn community, and they're all ranting and raving about it, and then they all got 100,000 views. It's insane. You can't wait an extra three or four days to get germination out of your seed. So anyway, the next day I sail, because he's going to do this before the weekend because we're getting some rain. Why? I don't know, because he, the seed's already wet. So of course I got to twist them a little bit. And I say, how'd you make out with your uh, seed in that pre-germination bucket or whatever the hell it was you were doing? He says, oh... I took it out of the bucket and I did exactly what everybody says. You put it in the water and you empty the water out every 12 hours and put fresh water in. And then uh, it was too wet. I couldn't spread it. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> no shit. What did you think? Now there are some guys out there who show you how to do it. But really, even if you mix it with something, it's still going to be wet. And if you dry it out and the seed is supposed to be pre-germinated and you dry it out well now it's probably not going to grow because it may have germinated a little bit and with it being dry you're probably going to stop the growth and maybe kill the seed it's just insane to me 
Now, I've been taking care of lawns, my lawn, some people in the family. When I was a kid, my grandfather's lawn, and that's who I learned from, was my grandfather 45 years ago. And he actually had a, uh, a real mower back then, 45 years ago. The thing was actually scary to use. I used it as a kid, as a 13, 14, 15 year old kid, I used it, but it was quite scary. And even these creators that are out there with the uh, real mowers, they think they've invented something new. They've been around for a long time, fellas. They're nothing new. Me, I always wanted one. I really did. I always wanted one. Never had the money for one. Then I seen the Swordman, and there was a lot of controversy with different creators out there saying, ah, it's junk. I don't know. I bought it. I like it. I'm going on three years with it. I like it. I've had no issues with it. Have I had to change a belt? Yeah, I think I changed two belts on it, particularly just this summer. So it ran for almost three years without having to change a belt. So these guys, the wheel's already been created. Lawn care's already been created. It's three simple things. Mow it, feed it, water it. It's pretty simple. These guys that are selling their own fertilizer, why am I going to buy their fertilizer? I'm going to use the same fertilizer I've been using for 45 years. The company's been around forever. Forever they've been around, and it works. I'm sticking with what works for me. And on top of it, the company that makes it, I can buy stock in the company, and I can make money off the stock for buying their product. I'm supporting my own stock. It's insane what is going on in the lawn community, and all it is is to get views. It's simple. You want to overseed, go buy a bag of seed, put it in your spreader, walk it around the lawn and spread it and forget about it. Water it or don't water it. Let the rain water it. Either way, it's going to germinate. You do not need to soak seed in water. Anyway, like I said, these guys are either stupid or they're full of shit. So don't be stupid and listen to them. Mow it, feed it, water it that's all you need to do it's as easy as that now it's going to be a real short shot of uh, uh the lawn uh, that that we seeded no pre-germination put it down we just threw the seed down and we watered it with the new sprinkler system we put in and it germinated in three weeks which i expected about three weeks for germination um is it completely full no we're just starting out are we going to be seeding some more yep we bought extra seed. We bought extra seed knowing that we were going to need to throw some more seed down. Now I'm going up there now. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with a video of me throwing down seed and throwing down a little bit of starter fertilizer, but I'm going up there to do that. When I do that, I'm going to take, I'm going to film it so you can see uh, there's green grass there. Is it full? No, it's not a mature lawn. It won't be full to the springtime most likely. So I'm going to throw some seed down. I'm going to throw some more seed down in two weeks. We spent $200 in seed and we're going to have a nice full lawn. Probably it will be full thick in the springtime. I don't know that it'll be in the fall, but we'll see. Look at that. That's three weeks since we planted this seed. No dunking seed in a bucket of water to do pre-germinations. We just threw the seed down and we watered it. It's pretty simple. For three weeks, this really looks good. We're going to throw down uh, some more seed today. I'm going to throw some fertilizer down as well, but I think we did really good here. Three weeks later and this is what it looks like. Sure. There's some bare spots. It's going to fill in. But it's just throwing seed down on bare dirt, watering it in, and waiting for it to grow. So there you have it. That's what it looks like. There's some bare spots. I threw some seed down on the bare spot, so it should uh, it should take. We're only in early October, first week of October. We got plenty of season left. 
myself, I mow my lawn all the way up to Christmas because I feed it every two weeks. Now you don't need to feed it every two weeks. I go crazy with it. I mow my lawn twice a week. I'll need to mow twice a week. Once a week is good enough. That's all you need. Stop listening to these guys on YouTube. They're all nuts. They're nuts. They're full of shit. Today is the day. The new lawn gets its first cut and I'm getting ready to go up to my son's house and we're going to first change the blade on his lawnmower and then we're going to do a first cut and uh, we'll see what it looks like. It's been five weeks since uh, we first put the seed down and uh, it looks good. I drive by and check it out and uh, and I'm happy with it. There's some bare spots but uh, no big deal. We have a little bit more seed. We're going to throw some more seed down after we mow and uh, that'll be it for the season. We'll throw some more fertilizer down. Uh, likely that won't be it for the season but we'll see. See what happens. Still relatively warm here for the last week of October. So hopefully uh, we get a little bit more warm weather in the next couple of weeks and uh, we'll be able to get the seed to germinate in some of the bare spots that are that are there. But uh, yeah, for now, it really looks good. So here we go. Wow. Look at that. It looks pretty good for five weeks. Or some bad spots. He's got some spots where there's washout when it rains, but uh, that'll fill in. Some dark lines in it from the fertilizer as well. See if we can get rid of that. But for the most part, I think this looks really good for five weeks and no pre germination dumb stuff with our seed. Full bag. This looks good. This looks really good for five weeks. Come springtime, all these bare spots will be filled in. There's no funny stuff with this seed. No pre-germination. We just threw it down. I'm happy with it. Do have some nut sedge popping up, but I, know, I think the weeds are uh, to be expected since this uh, dirt was turned over so many times and, and and spread out and raked and leveled out, leveled off, and the dirt's probably full of weed seeds. But we'll deal with the weeds as they come. But for right now, I think we're in a good place with. It with this new lawn so there it is the first mow for this new lawn and we threw down the last of the seed we have and we put another round of fertilizer down we have enough fertilizer left to probably hit it one more time with some fertilizer and we're going into the last week of October so I don't see a need to do anything more after that last fertilizer uh, throw down which will probably be next weekend but I think it turned out really good for what we did here and the amount of work we had and the frustrations that we had let me uh, pan around so you can see it it looks really good for a brand new lawn starter from seed and there's the homeowner all right Dan so was it worth all the aggravation definitely worth it worth it was it worth being out here in the rain that one weekend when we were doing the uh, sprinkler system definitely worth and we it. were knee deep in mud and you were walking around thinking to yourself why did I start this project this is why yep that's why how was it mowing a nice lawn it's fun it's <laughs> nice nothing like mowing a nice lawn all right well i hope you enjoy these videos on the on the new lawn i probably won't do another one until the spring but we did really good here with all the amount of work that that we had put into this this is a a good day for us 
So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.